Question 13, 2011, higher paper 1. Here's a function, 4 sine 3x. We've defined f dashed and replace x by 0. f dax means differentiate. So we have to find out what we get when we differentiate 4 lots of sine 3x. And you'll recall basic rules that you have for differentiating functions. Sine x, not sine 3x, sine x the derived function that's what you get when you differentiate the derived function for sine x is cos x. Now, it would be nice if the sine of 3x was cos 3x using this basic rule. That's not how it works. We have to invoke what's called the chain rule. And basically the chain rule extends a basic rule like this and allows more complicated expressions in place of x. So the way to think of this is, or a practical way of thinking about it, is that you have sine of something. It could be, in this case, 3x, could be x squared, could be 1 upon x, whatever. But it's the sign of something involving x. You don't get the cosine of that something that involves x. You have to make an adjustment. You have to multiply by whatever you get when you differentiate that something. So basically, in this case, we've got a 3x sitting in there. You should get a cos 3x, you don't. You have to adjust it by multiplying by what you get when you differentiate the 3x, which we know is 3. So here's the answer to differentiating f of x. Incidentally, this 4 at the front, if there's a number at the front, will just appear in the answer. So this 4 has to sit there in the answer. Um, sine 3x, therefore, sine of something involving x would become the cosine of that something involving x. And then we have to multiply by whatever we get when we differentiate the something, this 3x, which is 3. So there's the chain rule adjustment. And therefore, We've extended our basic rule to involve something other than an x in there. Another example, for instance, a basic rule would be x squared giving you 2x. Um, you could extend using the chain rule to something squared, in which case you'd get twice the something times whatever you get when you differentiate this something. So in there, for instance, we could put sine x. You can therefore use this extended rule, the chain rule, to differentiate sine x squared. We normal write, normally write that as sine squared x. But that would become twice sine x times what you get when you differentiate sine x, which we know is cos x. So differentiating sine squared x gives you 2 sine x cos x using this chain rule. So basic rule x squared gives you 2x. Something squared gives you twice something times what you get when you differentiate that something. So let's go back to the question. We now have 3 fourths 12 cos 3x. And the final step replace x by 0, replace x by 0. So f dashed of 0, it's the derived function evaluated when x equals 0, will be 12 times the cosine of 3 times 0, which is just 0. Now, recall the cosine graph. Remember, this is paper 1. You don't have calculators. The cosine graph um, starts off... Oh, that's a bad drawing, isn't it? Anyway, you can still use it. The cosine of 0 
is 1. So this will be 12 times 1, which we know hopefully is 12. Now let's check the answers. There they are, and it's choice C. So let's put that down, choice C.